Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to easily customize the WooCommerce cart page. So if you've been following along for any amount of time on my channel, you know that I recently did a video on how to easily customize the WooCommerce checkout screen, which is what we're looking at here. And uh, what we looked at was a bunch of CSS, but it's really easy customization with no plugins required. You're not changing any functionality. It is all design and layout. And I ended up getting a lot of great questions about how to mirror some of this concept onto the cart page. And that's a great question because the out-of-the-box cart is pretty dang ugly. So let's take a look at how we style this or how we could style this. We're gonna go ahead and open this up in Cornerstone, but as I've mentioned before, you could also apply this via different routes like the global WordPress uh, customizer additional CSS area. There might be some caveats because you'd wanna make sure that they apply to just these single pages. Otherwise, you're gonna be overriding styles throughout your site but we're gonna do it in Cornerstone. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are in the Cornerstone Builder and we are going to do this very similar to how we did the checkout page. We are gonna come down to the built-in Cornerstone page CSS editor and this is where we are going to put all of our styles. Again, I've broken this down into various sections to hopefully make it easy for you to go in and tweak or find things as needed and make your own customizations and adjustments. This is custom CSS, so it does look a little bit intimidating, but I promise you it is super easy and super straightforward. First things first, you'll notice we have sort of our like cart summary here on the top. So this is like what's in the cart. This is where we put our coupon code. If we change something like the quantity, this update button is what we click to update that in our cart. And then we have our cart totals with the proceed to checkout at the bottom here. Again, very similar to how we did it on the checkout screen. We want this to be a side-by-side -side layout. And so the first thing that we are going to do is grab our structural layout section. Uh, and I'm going to just copy that and paste it in right over here. And now you'll notice, just like we did with the checkout screen, we now have a side-by-side -side layout. We have our cart summary on the left-hand side here, and we have our cart totals on the right-hand side here. And we're just doing that with a little bit of float left, uh, width, and you could have obviously adjust this. You just wanna make sure that your percentages end up equaling 100. So what I mean by that is we have our width here of 63. We have a little bit of margin to the right of that to separate these out a little bit of 2%, so that's 65. And then on our cart totals width, we have 35, bringing us to 100%. So if you decided you wanted something that was a little more evenly split, you could do something like 53 and 45 and a width of 35% on our cart totals. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of space. And the next thing that we are going to do is add in our left side style. So that is this here, this what we call the cart form over here. So let's go ahead and put in our styles. And I'm kind of matching some of the styles that we did on the checkout page, just so that there's some visual consistency. So if you know rounded edges here aren't your thing or the white background just isn't your thing, um, obviously go ahead, go into the styles here. You should be able to find some of those pretty easily. Um, and go ahead and update those and change them. Good example is right here under our left side styles, we start with the container itself. And so we have our background padding at 3M, that border radius at one, you could change that and you know take away the rounded edges if you wanted to, set it to zero. And now we got some sharp edges. And then if you wanted something uh, different here, so you didn't want um, a background white, you can make background you know blue or something like that. Obviously, you'd need to play with a few more styles there, but let's go ahead and do white because I think that looks good. Um, so all in all, this is coming together, but as you know, I like for our calls to action, so proceed to checkout to be one of the most visually prominent things. I like to sort of lift that off the screen a little bit. My style is to use some drop shadows on that just to make it feel like it's a layer above everything else. So to style the right side, let's go ahead and just add some space here and let's go ahead and paste that in here. Now, a couple of things you'll notice right off the bat is we've removed the cart totals headline. If that was something you wanted to add back in there, you would simply come down to where we call out that with the display none and you would get rid of it and your cart totals headline shows back up. So again, it's worth reading through some of the CSS styles. Even if you don't fully understand it all, you can kind of figure out how things have been laid out here. So now, very similar to how we did it in the checkout, we wanna also set our alert styles. And what that does is just makes our uh, error messages, our error handling. So let's go ahead and refresh here and type in a coupon code that doesn't exist. I just think these look pretty janky. So we're gonna jump back over here. And again, this is something you could have applied to your global style so that you don't have to put it on every page, but just so we have it here on the cart page, 
we'll jump in here at a couple spaces and add our alert styles CSS right here, which matches what we had on the checkout screen, which means now when we refresh this page and we type in a coupon code that doesn't exist, we get a nicer modern error message here. So what have we done? Well, we've taken a standard vanilla default WooCommerce cart like this here, and we've made it a side-by-side -side cart. We've taken the left side and given it some styles to help it look a little more modern. We've taken the right side and we've added a little bit more prominence and a little bit more focus to it. And what you can't see here, we've also adjusted our alert messages and prompts. And it's as easy as that. So if we take a look at this on the front end, we have our nice side-by-side -side layout. We have a styled left side, a styled right side with a bit of prominence on the call to action. Clicking that call to action will take you to the checkout page that we styled in our last video, which you'll then see a visually similar design, which is always nice for consistency. And so there we have it. It is as easy as that. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. If you've got comments or suggestions or ways to improve the CSS that I'm sharing here today, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I can always check those out and update the CSS as necessary. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.